हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑफ जोग्राफी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू आवर ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट टॉपिक विच वी हैव डिस्कस इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो सिंस वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट दैट वॉट इज ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर फर्दर द फर्दर नेक्स्ट स्टेप विच कम्स आफ्टर दैट इज इम्पैक्ट ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट और द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट सो हियर आई हैव अ डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन से इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डायग्राम आई हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड दिस ऑन माई बोर्ड एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैम वन बाय वन वॉट आर द कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस इफेक्ट सो द फर्स्ट first and foremost like in my previous class i have said that anything which will be in excess anything which will be in excess will be harmful for the uh, will be harmful for the living organism on the earth which will disturb the balance in the ecosystem so here and there if there will be imbalance in the nature it will surely affect us whether or uh, us or whether you can say all the living organism present on the earth so as we have discussed that due to increase in greenhouse gases due to trapping of uh, due to the more gases being trapped and less amount of uh, heat is radiated back more heat is trapped by the gases and less heat is radiated back more and more heat is trapped so what happens the temperature of the earth goes high when the temperature of the earth goes high it becomes very hot means more than the required temperature if the uh, gases uh, if the heat is caught obviously the temperature is going to rise and when the temperature will go will go on rising uh, ultimately it is going to affect the living organism on the earth so if suppose the there is a rising temperature or you can say because of global warming that means the rise in temperature results in global warming so because of global warming there will be you can say rise in temperature and first one is there will be rise in temperature the first consequence of greenhouse is there will be rise in temperature second consequence is that drought if there will be more hotter or the summer seasons will be longer and more hotter there will be less rainfall if there will be imbalance in the rainfall pattern then there will be drought condition drought means uh, there will be a condition where uh, you can say no growth of crop uh, the yield of the crop is less crop uh, cannot be grown because of the because for crop you need a proper irrigation system and proper irrigation system does not mean only artificial irrigation is required you need the monsoon rainfall for the better growth of your crop for the better production for the better yield of your crop whatever you have at that time so there will be a drought and if there will be a drought less crop will be food production or the crop production will be less and if the food production or the crop production will be less ultimately the price of that item if it is produced less in that particular year because of the drought or because of flood or anything if that spoil, uh, crop is spoiled ultimately the price of that food crop will uh, will rise in the market so here i have that point here rise in food price why rise in food price because if there will be imbalance in the nature there will be more rainfall sometime or more rainfall than the required uh, required rainfall pattern or there if there will be any in any of the season if there is drought so what will happen it will ultimately affect the growth of crops and if that thing will be product if the production of that thing will be less ultimately the price of that market uh, price of that food or price of that crop in the market will go on rise so who is going to face the problem the consumers are going to face the problem of that the next is there will be rise in sea level 
and the melting of glaciers that means if the temperature will rise if the temperature will rise we are having snow caps or the ice caps we have glaciers in the regions like antarctica on the himalayan mountains all the other mountains where snow caps are present there so that will start melting and if that will start melting the regions which is in and around that place will submerge will submerge and if that snow cap or the glacier will start melting the animals which live in the colder region in the antarctic region they will lose their home these species will lose their home and they will be affected by it because it is uh, for a particular animal like for uh, us for you, you uh, for me and you if we are sent to antarctic region to live there where the temperature is below 0 degree celsius we won't be able to live there so same it is for animals if a animal lives in a particular region suppose a colder region uh, or in the ice cap or in the uh, where their glaciers are present if these glaciers will start melting and come in a liquid form the the species of uh, the animals they will lose their home so there will be a imbalance in the nature now the next point is haze haze means when there is more carbon dioxide in the uh, you can say uh, in the uh, atmosphere haze is a condition due to industrialization due to more and more uh, pr this one industrialization is going on more setup of industries and all forest are being cleared this and that so more industrialization what happens haze means when you are not able to see uh, through that air, uh, atmospheric air whatever gases are present you cannot see the air clearly because of the presence of water more you can say water droplets or the air is not clear and you cannot see through it that type of air or the atmosphere is known as haze so these are the uh, these are the uh, you can say impact or consequences of a greenhouse effect and this figure it is just a greenhouse representation how does a greenhouse effect takes place there and we have discussed this in the previous uh, previous class also and just a quick revision also we will do through this diagram this is our earth here these arrows this purple color arrows indicates the terrestrial radiation uh, so uh, sorry uh, these uh, these are the gases from the factories means the gases which factories emit like in the form of co2 in the form of nitrous oxide methane and so on these gases are contributing to the increase in the temperature of the earth which results in global warming and this pink color if you see the pink color rays i have used pink color chalk to indicate the rays which comes from the sun this is a rays which it strikes the surface of the earth and it stays inside the atmosphere it is radiated back and stays in the uh, inside the atmosphere it is trapped by the greenhouse gases which helps in maintaining the temperature of the earth and this is wall of gases wall of gases you can consider it as a atmosphere layer of a atmosphere now one more thing so if we conclude all these points in a quick revision if we do of consequences of greenhouse effect you can say that glaciers will start melting due to rise in temperature and if glacier will start melting the nearby areas will be submerged many animal species will leave their uh, will lose their homes and then second point you can say that the regions which are uh, you can say uh, the regions which are uh, very dry it can become more drier in the coming time and we will have very short winters we will have very long summer seasons and very hot summer seasons then industrialization because of industrialization we are losing forest and one more point about the forest is that forest act as a carbon sink one word is used that forest acts as a carbon sink carbon sink means it is uh, the forest what it has with that it has maximum number of trees we have maximum number of trees in the forest and what is the work of a tree to absorb the carbon dioxide which is given by us human beings and they in return produce 
oxygen for us so it acts as a carbon sink it absorbs the carbon so if forest will not be there in the uh, or on the our planet forest will be cleared for industrialization for human settlement or for whatever purpose due to development if you are clearing the forest areas there will be more presence of carbon dioxide because forest are not there so carbon dioxide amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere it will increase and if it will increase ultimately it will trap more heat of the sun's rays more heat from the sun's rays and the temperature of the earth will go higher so uh, we have uh, so and we will have next point you can say consequences of we will have a, a drastic change in the pattern of rainfall there will be drought condition there will be desertification there can be more rainfall also which can result in flood due to change in weather and climatic conditions so these are the you can say these are the region uh, these are the consequences of a green house effect these are the impacts of greenhouse effect so first is rising temperature second is drought rising sea level when uh, glaciers will start melting rise haze then rising food price and then melting of glaciers so that's all for today thank you